Hi, it's time for the math. Easy solution. Uh, turn cost further into hyperbolic trigonometric identities. Now look further at the cos 2x or the double angle for hyperbolic cosine trig identity. But now look at the corollary formulas 1 and 2, which are again a corollary just means follows from yeah, previously defined proof like in my earlier videos. So let's just jump right in. So recall from my earlier video that I... Yeah, that I derived a double angle, a double angle or double argument identity. This is one of my earlier videos. So make sure to check that one out. The cosh 2x equals to cosh squared x plus co I mean plus cinch, you know, plus cinch squared x like that. And now this is called a, this is called a double angle because you have well this angle 2x which is double the x angle. So now that we have this just written down from earlier video, now what I'll do is recall. We can just rewrite this in in several different forms that are uh, also used often. And so recall my earlier video that I showed that cosh squared x minus cinch squared x is the uh, famous yeah, the hyperbolic identity. So this is cosh squared x. You have minus cinch squared x equals to one. So what we could do now is we'll reword or re rewrite this equation in terms of cosh squared x and then throw that inside here and also reword this one in terms of cinch squared x to get the second corollary. Yeah, the second one in there like that. Yeah, actually uh, I'll throw in the cinch one in first. So what we'll do is yeah, if we rewrite this, if we just move this over here, move the one on this side, what we end up getting is a uh, cinch squared x equals to, well, that's just going to be cosh squared x minus 1. Yeah, so we have this one like that. And now if we throw this in there, and I'm also going to write down now the second one is if we just uh, move this one on the other side. So cosh squared x equals to, or just move this over by itself and leave it there, 1 plus cinch squared x like that. And this one I'll circle it like this. and this goes in th uh, in there. Actually, not in there. In inside this one over there. So this one will label it for number one, and this one is for number two. So the number one will, will deal with cosh, and number two will deal with cinch, or everything will be in terms of cinch. So what we have is this formula right here for number one, cosh two x equals two, and I'll just write this as cosh. Uh, squared x and then plus cinch which is now this one over there so plus cosh squared x minus one like that so that's what we're throwing it over there now this just adds up to well this just becomes two cosh squared x minus one like that and this is our corollary number one I'll write it like this so there, yeah, there is our corollary. Let's see how I spell that. Yeah, there's an A there. Corollary, uh, I'll write this corollary one like that. Now for the second one, we are going to put in this cosh inside here as 1 plus cinch squared x. And I'll loop this around there like that. So now what we have here is, yeah, is, is now we have cosh 2x equals 2 and now cosh 1 gets replaced with 1 plus uh, cinch squared so now we have let's put this in brackets so we know it's being placed inside 1 plus cinch squared x which is this one over here and then we add the one on the right that's a cinch squared x like that cinch squared x and now those add up this becomes 1 plus 2 cinch squared x like that and there is our second corollary function for this double angle cosh 2x. There's another one you can get with tan, but we'll just leave it like this. Yeah, with hyperbolic uh, tangent, but we'll just leave it like that. That's a bit more complicated and, and it's not used as often, I believe. So now this one's number two, corollary number two, or the second uh, yeah, formula that's uh, used often that's derived, and again, it's from the same cosh 2x above formula over here. And uh, yeah, that was just a quick video. I wanted to show both of these because I'll be using these in later videos and I thought I might as well do it separately so I don't need to do them individually in each video. I'll just reference this video. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below as well as, as, well as viewing these notes on Steemit. Also, make sure to check out my math 
forums and post whatever cool stuff you find, math or science related. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.